Welcome, class of 2022. I'm Mr. Reed, the senior high principal. As a junior, we want to help prepare you for the transition beyond high school. Ms. Egan, senior high guidance counselor, has put together some critical information for you to review. Watch the presentation. As questions arise, feel free to reach out to us. Your guidance counselors will begin setting up meetings to help you explore all of your opportunities as future graduates. Thank you, and again, reach out to us if we can help in any way. Take care. Hello, juniors, the class of 2022. I don't know if you realize, but we're at that point to start doing scheduling for your senior year. Hard to believe, but that's where we're at. So in the upcoming few weeks, you will be receiving information to attend possibly a Google Meet. I will be doing all of my students through Google Meet due to my having to be remote. And then you will also work with your other counselors, Ms. Madden and Dr. Catalano. They will do, in some cases, Google Meet, but then in other cases, uh, doing an in-person meeting with you once students are back in the building. Make sure that you please keep these appointments. It's very important. However, if you end up with an appointment time that doesn't work, contact the guidance office and speak to one of the secretaries and they can reschedule it for you. All right. So with that, attached to your Google Meets in the future will be what's called the junior packet. And it would be appreciated if you would print that off prior to the Google Meet. For the in-person meetings, they will have those packets available, printed already in the guidance office. With that, we will also be talking about the schedule for senior year and considering what you need to graduate. Do you have the 22 credits for a local or regions diploma? Advanced regions tends to be more about 24, 25 credits. So you will go through your transcript with your guidance counselor and review to make sure you have everything you need to graduate. To just review quickly, uh, you've heard this in every assembly since the eighth grade, that you need four Englishes, four social studies, three math, three science, one art or music, one foreign language at least, a half a credit in health, and then two total credits in PE when you graduate. Of course, electives will also fall in there. And when you consider if you are an advanced regents diploma candidate, then you either have three, three foreign language credits or you did a five in business, a five in art, a five in technology, or a five in music, all right? So that might be a plan that you had already worked out with. When you're also looking at your transcript, you wanna think about college. If you are planning on attending college, make sure your senior year is not full of fluff. Four-year colleges and two-year colleges just don't appreciate fluff. So, no basket weaving 101, okay? Yes, can you take an elective that maybe you think would be fun, a little different? Of course, but make sure that your schedule for the senior year shows you are still working and learning, prepping yourself for a college program. So if you can take some of those college courses that we offer, we have a nice number of them, Try to fit those in because they will look better on your transcript. Another factor is your overall GPA. A college is going to want to understand that you have worked hard. Now, we're halfway through, already almost halfway through this year, and you still have time to maybe kick up some of those classes that you're struggling in. Doing remote learning is not easy. And we totally understand that. But you know that the transcript a college will look at needs to 
totally demonstrate to them you are ready for college work. They will look at your overall GPA. Four colleges that are four year or maybe even some of the two year, but definitely your four year colleges are going to want to look at a GPA that's about 85 or higher. Matter of fact, some are going to want the 90, but it doesn't mean that you can't find a four year college. There's such a variety, whether you think of the SUNY colleges or private, the variety to get in exists. The next step, though, is making sure that when you're looking at a college, that they have the program you're interested in, obviously, that you feel it is a good fit for you as a student. That means going to the website, exploring their website, looking at what their programs and classes are, look at the style of campus. But the best thing you could always do is visit. Now, with COVID, I do know that there are some campuses that aren't ready for visitors yet. So that's something you need to check into. Maybe email that admissions office and ask, when will you be giving tours or allowing visitors on your campus? As a junior, that is what you should be doing this spring and summer, is spending time searching out campuses and finding the right fit for you. The other is, do you want private? Do you want SUNY? Those are choices you and your family can make. The other factors will be your applications to those colleges. Now, you don't need to start doing applications now, no. Right now, your time is working on your transcript, working on grades, selecting classes that will show you are a strong student in your senior year. Definitely start using Naviance, and yes, we are going to talk about Naviance. I know you didn't want to hear that, but we will be talking about Naviance. And Naviance has great college search programs to help you find colleges that offer a major that you're thinking about. And we will look at that in just a few minutes. SATs and ACTs, those are the standardized tests that four-year colleges consider, not a two-year. An Ulster, uh, a Hudson Valley, they don't need you to do SATs or ACTs. That's only for four-year colleges, all right? Now, in the junior packet that you are going to receive when you do your Google Meet or you do your in-person, in that packet will be information about signing up to take SATs or ACTs. Either test is accepted now by four-year colleges. The factor is whether or not colleges are going to want them because of COVID. As we know, this past fall and last spring, so many of those tests were canceled. And thank goodness four-year colleges understood that and worked with parents, students regarding admission and not having those test scores. This spring, we will see. Uh, what tests are administered, but they are not done in sovereignties, all right? So that's why you have to go to the website for the SAT, College Board, or for the ACT, actstudent.org, and register. Most of our students take those tests in Kingston. That tends to be the common site. But again, you will discuss that with your guidance counselor in the upcoming weeks. In regards to careers, maybe you aren't sure yet what you want to study in college, or maybe you do know. Either way, Naviance is another tool that can help you, and you will discuss that with your counselor. If you don't remember your Naviance uh, username, password, please either stop in the guidance office or call the guidance office and one of the secretaries can help you. They will get you set back up. Your username is an email address 
at this point in time, you really should use a personal email address, not the school one. All right. Keep that in mind. And they will set you up with a password that you provide them. So that's something that would be really important to get done as soon as possible. If you are considering the military, of course, we do have military recruiters who come to the school and hopefully that also will get set back up. If not, then your guidance counselor can help you look at and contact the various branches of the military. Now, maybe you are looking at going into the workforce immediately after high school, and that is an option. In that case, you probably should work on creating a resume. I do think it's good for all students to generate a resume, whether you're looking at a four-year college or looking at the workforce. And a resume should include your education. Uh, if you are a student who attended BOCES, you definitely want to put that program in. You also are going to list your extracurricular clubs, sports, things you've done in community service is always very, very important. So please consider putting that together. When we meet for your scheduling, uh, we will talk about uh, if you are an advanced regents diploma student, um, if you're a regents or a local, and how you are doing in the classes that you are in at this time. Now, I did mention Naviance, and right now I am going to share a screen with you about Naviance. So if you could just wait a second. And I am going to pull that up. And hopefully you will see a screen right now that says, welcome, Joe. Well, that's Joe Sawyer. I know you all know him really well. He's uh, a popular student in your class. So this is the typical screen for a junior. For Naviance. And you see home and up at the top here, home colleges careers. These are the two tabs you may be using the most. Colleges is where we're going to talk about doing a college search. Careers, if you want to look for careers, if you're still undecided or you want to know more about a career. The other thing in careers that you can always take advantage of is what about neighbors? What about friends of your family? Do you know anyone that is in that career that you're considering? If you do, then maybe talk to them. See if you can shadow them at their job so that you can gain more knowledge about that career and if it's what you are really thinking you want to do. For colleges, we're going to click on the college tab and we're going to go down here to find your fit. And when we do that, we then are going to go up to Supermatch. Supermatch is a wonderful tool to help you find colleges that fit where you are looking to attend school and the colleges that have the major you are interested in. There are over 5,000 colleges in this country, and I know you don't want to search all 5,000. All right, that might take a little extra time. So we can narrow that 5,000 down to more of a doable number through Supermatch. We can do it by location, academics, admission, student life, diversity. All of these top tabs will help you. Now. I have already been working with Joe on what he's planning to do. So the first thing he looked at was location. And Joe decided he was interested in something here in the northeast part of the United States. So we're looking at New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts, and Rhode Island. But maybe you don't want all of those. OK, if you don't want Rhode Island, just hit the X and out Rhode Island goes. 
Maybe you don't want the Northeast. Maybe you're somebody who wants the Southeast, you know, those Florida schools. Then that is another tab that you can click on and select the states you want. The other thing you can do here is where is the campus? Are you looking for a large city? You know, do you want NYU right there in downtown New York City? Or do you want a smaller city like a Syracuse? Or are you looking at suburbs? Maybe even you want to go rural. So that's something you can consider and click. Joe was like, right now, you know what? I don't really know. So let's just stick with these three states. Now, we could close this and we would get all the colleges in those three states, but that's still a very large pool. So we're gonna go to the next tab, academics. So Joe is looking at a four-year college. So that's a bachelor's. The only two that you're gonna be looking at right now is probably the associates, which is a two-year degree, which could be from Ulster, Hudson Valley. Dell High and Coble Skill are examples. They also give associates. Or maybe you want a four year college, which is a bachelor's degree, a SUNY Albany, a SUNY Plattsburgh, a Siena. Coble Skill and Dell High also give four years. That's why they're called a 2 4. They give either one of these, depending on the program. You won't consider these call areas yet. All right, master's degree comes in after a bachelor's. So let's focus on the bachelor's first. Then Joe decided he was interested in civil engineering. Now, engineering is a field where there is a large variety of topics. You can do things like aerospace engineering or the more common civil, mechanical. There's many, many types. Joe picked a civil. Okay. So again, we could close and we would have some lists of colleges, but let's just look at some of these other tabs quickly. In you college GPA, what kind of GPA are they looking for? Example, a Harvard or a Yale are pretty much looking for that 4-0. That means you have a very, very high GPA, like a 100, all right? But maybe, obviously, not all of us have those kind of grades. I didn't. But you still could calculate on a 4-0 scale what the GPA is, and that you can do with your counselor. The other thing may be what SAT scores or ACT you have. At this point, you probably haven't taken any, so you can leave that blank. Acceptance rate is of the students who apply, how many get accepted? For top colleges, again, like your Ivy League, they tend to fall into these categories. But then you have other colleges that are more open, all right? Student life is another category that you can look at here. What kind of maybe you're looking for certain clubs, maybe you want to make sure there's a lot of community service, something like that. Greek life is looking at fraternities or sororities, internships, co-ops, those types of opportunities exist. Again, we could close. We're going to do one more just for uh, demonstration. Diversity. What kind of diversity are you looking for? Now, Joe decided he wants a co-ed college that both male and females attend. There are still some women's colleges. I don't know a lot of men single colleges. That's kind of an, an odd one still to be there. Or you can look at minority factors, a lot of different things, okay? So as you can see, there's a few other tabs that can narrow the field. We're just going to close, and I'm going to show you what Joe ends up having. All right, based on location, his civil engineering, and he wants a co-ed school, he gets a list of 29 colleges.
all it did. So now you have a list of private and SUNY. He's got Hofstra, Clarkson, a very common engineering school, very good school. You've got out of state, Dartmouth and Massachusetts. You have Cornell, very hard to get into. Tufts, another top school. Here's a Connecticut college in Hartford. Military. So you can see they go through. Now, Stony Brook is a SUNY. So there is a SUNY college that's outside, just north of New York City. You then have lots of varieties here. You have some that are right in the city, CUNY City College in New York. All right, here's a SUNY University of Buffalo. Let's go ahead and cap that. You are now going to see a summary page about the University of Buffalo, and that's what they give you. All right, they tell you, see, they're looking for students like you. Now, you can get nice pictures, you can do a virtual tour, you can email them. They give you a percentage rate, they give you based on certain family income, how much would you pay at a school like this? Let's go to a, you know, a little bit more common number possibly. This is what they are looking at. However, there could be more aid to knock that down for a year. Um, how many students graduate, acceptance rate, deadline. Now, this is deadline for seniors, not for you. So make sure you don't get nervous about that. You also have a chance if you tap up, this is actual Buffalo website. Right now, this is just a summary page that Naviance has for you. But you can go actually to the college's website by tapping here. Okay? So there's a lot of information that you can get from doing uh, the super match and finding different colleges for yourself. All right? So we're going to go back. Um, I'm going to try to go back <laughs> to our meet. I'm going to leave this page. All right. So with the information that I gave you, hopefully you have a good understanding of where you're at right now as a junior. Again, your meetings with your guidance counselors are going to be very important. And I hope you are excited to make this next step towards being a senior at Saugerties. The other factor I just want to conclude with is this is a difficult time for everyone, but please know we're here to help you. Whether it's my students, I'm here for you, even though I'm remote and having to work from home, I want to help you. Do not ever think that your guidance counselor isn't available. You can email us, you can call the guidance office, and we can get a hold of you, or we could do Google Meets just like this. We are here to support you, and don't ever think that you have no one in your corner. All right, so I'm going to conclude with bye-bye, best of luck, we will talk soon, and make sure you stay healthy and safe. Have a good day. Bye-bye.